it's really important that we talk about triggers. Triggers are those things that are an external event that makes us feel a certain way about something. For years, I had really disordered eating, so I would binge myself like a crazy person. I went through so many diets, calorie restriction, all of those, you know, crazy fad diets, I did. And it led me to the point where I eventually had an eating disorder. Over the years, I have come to love my body. I've come to a place where I've truly accepted who I am and what my body looks like, no matter how it is. For so many years prior to that, I had triggers. Things would come up for me all the time. Maybe it was me going back to my, you know, hanging out with old high school, high school friends. Perhaps it could have been me going on a date that would trigger all those feelings of inadequacy, all those feelings of shame and disappointment about my body. Since being able to clear a whole bunch of those, I don't have all those trigger points that I used to. Those, oh, ah, now I feel like I'm a mess again. Those just don't seem to happen all that often anymore. Well, so I thought. Today, I had a trigger. Yep. Even with all the work that I've done on myself and all the self-love that I have now instilled within myself, I got triggered today. I was scrolling through my own Instagram and saw a post from October of last year. And I'm, I was standing there topless. It was a selfie that I'd taken. And I, as soon as I saw it, I went, oh, wow, I look really slim in that photo. Huh. Boom. Trigger. You see, towards the end of last year, I was doing a lot of training. So I was doing lots of strength and conditioning training. I was really pushing hard when it comes to the physical aspect of my training. I was also pushing really hard when it came to work. And I got to the point where I was truly exhausted. I had nothing left in the tank. And over all the years that I've learned to just push through it, just go beyond it, just go, just keep pushing myself beyond the point of exhaustion. And I finally had to take a big deep breath and say, you know what, Katie, you're exhausted. And I went and sought some help and it turns out that I have something called adrenal fatigue where the cortisol levels in my body have been so high for so long that my body's depleted of, of the energy that it is required to just survive the day. I was having to have naps every day just to get through, waking up after eight, nine, ten hours sleep, feeling exhausted. I had to stop training. So at the end of last year, just around Christmas, I did my last training session, and I haven't done one since. I've done some walking and a few bits and pieces here and there, but I've needed to take care of my body. What's really interesting about this is that this trigger came up. That just, what, seven months ago, I had a smaller waistline. I was exhausted, mind you, but I had a smaller waistline. And when I saw that picture today, it made me feel completely inadequate to where I am now. It made me feel really disappointed in the fact that my waistline's now bigger, and it made me feel ashamed of the fact that I had let myself go. In that moment, when that trigger hit, I had deleted all of the amazing things that I have done in the last seven months. Sure, I haven't been able to physically train like I have, but I've done a lot more other things on my own self. And in that moment of trigger, I deleted all of those. Not only that, I got myself to a point where I was exhausted. So that slim waist version of myself was actually an unhealthy version of myself. I was pushing myself to exhaustion. It's so fascinating that these triggers still go boom in my head from time to time. That I still go, oh, somehow being smaller, me having a smaller waist meant that I was better. Oh, I look better, therefore I must have been healthier, I must have been more worthy, I must be better looking, all of that stuff. You see, the world tells us that being smaller is better, for women particularly. Smaller is better. So I see a picture of myself when I'm looking slimmer, I have a smaller waistline, therefore I must have been better back then. As a result of me then being better back then, I have to be worse now. 
So even just comparing myself to where I was before, only a few short months ago, to where I am now, simply physically, just by the visual look of my, of my body, I have somehow made it in my brain think that I am less than what I was back then. The truth of the matter is, I love exercise. I loved training. I was having so much fun doing that. But at the point in time, it was exhausting me. It's not to say that it will always exhaust me, but it was back then. Eventually, I will get back to training in the gym and doing the things that I love. The ultimate thing for me is self-love. When I was exhausted, I had to stop. I could keep pushing myself through the pain. I could keep pushing myself and pushing myself. Because I loved the activity. But the truth was, that thing that I loved was actually hurting me. And if it means that I had to stop exercising as intensely as I did for the last seven months, and that resulted in me getting my energy back, then that was the best thing for me. So now, when I look at that picture of seven months ago, it has to remind me that I was in a place of exhaustion. The trigger got me so bad that I even went and emulated it. I went and put on the same bra and the same pants that was in the original photo and went and took a selfie and compared the two. That's how much it messed me up just in this moment. And now I need to look at that after picture where I am now and know that although my waistline is bigger, I'm healthier. I'm looking after myself. I'm giving love to me. That weight isn't necessarily indicative of how much I'm worth or how healthy I'm being. I was exhausted in the before picture. Now I'm getting my energy back and I may be able to get to a point where I can train better again. Self-love is a journey. Be aware of your triggers. They do come up. And also have a look at how you might be able to change those triggers so that you don't have them in the future. I look forward to getting myself back into training, into a place where it's healthy and sustainable for me, because that is the ultimate self-love.